evening. Welcome to our Sunday School Christian Education. We are grateful to the Lord that you have tuned in with us this morning for our Sunday School lesson. Our Sunday School lesson is created to worship. Praise God. I was so excited to uh, study our lesson on uh, this week. It is uh, such a wonderful lesson that God has created us to worship him. The trees worship him, the sun worship him, the stars, the moon, praise God. And he also created us to worship. Let's look to the Lord in prayer on this morning as we think about those who are experiencing difficult times and even uh, looking to him that you may be touched by his word on this morning. Father, we thank you. We praise you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for grace and favor, God. We thank you for traveling mercy. We ask that you would bless those that are tuned in this morning, those who are in the hospital and convalescent home, those that don't know you in the pardon of their sins. We pray, dear God, that you would save, heal, and deliver. We ask these many blessings in Jesus' name. Amen created to worship our creator elohim the god almighty the god of the universe he created us to worship him in spirit and in truth praise god he created us that we may be able to bring glory to his name without him we can do nothing People of God and those that are tuned in, I want you to know that our Lord and Creator, He said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Him because He is the God who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think. Praise Him and worship Him because He is the God that puts the very breath in our bodies. Without Him, hallelujah, we could do nothing. In Him, we move, we live, and we have our being. Don't get it twisted, hallelujah. I know there are some people who think that they are doing and living their own life. They can do what they want to. When they want to. But I come to let you know today. That we are created to worship him. To give him the glory that's due his name. Our God paid an awesome price. That you and I might have the right to the tree of life. Because he lived, we can live today. So we are able, praise God, to praise him because he allows us to praise him. He give us wisdom. He give us knowledge and understanding. His understanding is far from finding out, praise God. We might be able to tap into some of his wisdom, but we will never know or be able to comprehend the vastness of God's goodness and his mercy. He does what he does because he is a sovereign God. When I think about a story that uh, was in our Sunday school lesson and it talk about, talked about this young Indian boy who uh, found it to be very discouraging because he was mocked by others others of his culture and he was talked about and criticized and I can attest that some have been criticized and talked about even today and and laughed at and said you wasn't gonna make it and said you wasn't gonna uh, come out of the situation but God confound the wise and brought you into a place, praise God, where you know if it had not been for God who was on your side, you can say you don't know what you would do. But this young Indian boy, as he was mocked and talked about, 
And his father really uh, embraced his culture, the culture being Indian. And he would um, go in the parade and march with the people as they uh, displayed their culture as being Indian. And the little boy ran and he hid and he did not like the fact that his uh, grandfather would uh, show off his culture and and then there was those that as his grandfather had his Indian hat, they uh, mocked him and, and, and mocked the hat that he had. And, and the little boy just cried and ran away because he couldn't understand, you know, and he had in, was embarrassed because of his culture. But then his grandfather sat down and talked to him and let him know, son, and let me tell you about the culture where you come from. And as he began to share, the little boy put a smile on his face and he began to be happy and, and, and embrace what his grandfather had told him about his culture. But I want to tell you, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and that know that he died for us, he died on Calvary's cross that we might have the right to the tree of life. When I think about our Father, our Savior, our King, praise God, the Lord of Lord came down from heaven. When I think about here we were, a wretched undone, living in a world of sin, had no hope, no peace within, far from a peaceful shore. But our Lord, Savior, and King over 2,000 years ago came that you and I might have the right to the tree of life. I'm so grateful today that I know, praise God, that I have a heritage in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I thank God for my natural family. Praise God, my biological family. But hallelujah, there is nothing like knowing that God came into this world to save us from our sin. You don't have to live in a world of sin and be entangled with the yoke of bondage, but you can be set free because Jesus paid the price at Calvary. And you and I, we have the victory today because our God, he sits on his throne. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. And he rules in the kingdom of men. He is a God that want us to come boldly to the throne of grace. That's enough to get happy to know that we can come boldly to the throne and be able to find help. That's enough to worship him to know whatever you're going through that you can worship him. Hallelujah. In advance, knowing that he has already worked it out, knowing that he has already turned it around. Hallelujah. We can worship him because we know whatever way that you're looking for to be made, you can dance in advance and know the way has already been paid. Hallelujah. The way has already been made. God has given us victory. We don't have to be down and discouraged, but we can worship. We can worship him in spirit and in truth. We can bless his holy name because he is a God that's able to do exceedingly and abundantly. Look where he has brought us from. He's brought us from a mighty long way, praise God. He's turned our midnights into day. He has established our going, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful for the word of God. Whatever you are praying for, I think about the scripture said, before you even prayed, God has already answered. God has already made the way. Praise God. Hallelujah. And God has designed it so that we can worship him. Oh, when we get together and worship, when we come together to bless our God. I know this is, we just had a Thanksgiving 
season and uh, many of you had turkeys on the table and many of you had food that was surrounded and uh, you could just pick a variety of items that you wanted to eat but oh when I think of the goodness of Jesus how he has made a way for us that we do not have to be entangled with bondage praise God but we can be set free hallelujah we can hallelujah have the victory over whatever the situation that's trying to cause us to be discouraged As people of God I want you to be encouraged on today to know that God if he be for you he is more than the world against you he created us to worship him hallelujah to magnify him to testify testify on the mountaintop tell of the goodness of the Lord I think about the song that says go tell it on the mountain everywhere that Jesus Christ is born hallelujah glory be to God not only was he born but hallelujah he died not only did he die but he got up with all power in his hand the good news is hallelujah when he died on the cross he said it is finished praise God as the people of God our nation our nature our very nature should just worship him when we hear Jesus there ought to be something down on the inside that will make your hands go up and praise him. Hallelujah. Just the fact that he saves. Jesus saves from the uttermost to the guttermost. Praise God. Jesus. He saves. Praise God. And our nature. Praise God. In itself is to praise him and to worship him in spirit and in truth praise God our nature when we look around praise God and we see the trees the leaves clapping their leaves praise God it ought to remind us to clap our hands to lift him up praise God and glorify his name for all of the things that he has done People of God, if we really think about, praise God, the things that God has done and we think within ourselves, praise God, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, praise God, hallelujah, we would all be consumed, praise God, hallelujah, we will all, hallelujah, be lost without, hallelujah, God being in our lives, but it's so good to just know we have a right to praise him. There is no one that has the right like the children of the Lord who's seen the light. We've been redeemed. Hallelujah. Let's go back to that part about the light. We've seen the light, praise God. The light that shines in darkness. The light that turns our life around. The light, praise God, that reveals, praise God, who he is, praise God. I know it's a mystery. Hallelujah. It's a mystery that we, hallelujah, shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed one day in a moment and a twinkling of an eye. That's enough to worship him, to praise him, praise God, that we know, praise God, that to be able to be in the Lord and allow his light to illuminate us. That is a blessing all by itself. Praise God that he will come in to allow us to know who he is. Not everybody know who Jesus is. Not everybody have the revelation that he came down from heaven. Wrapped himself in clothing. Praise God. Walk this earth. Hallelujah. He was the word. As John talks about. The word became flesh. And dwelt among us. And we comprehended it not. The word. Praise God. Came down from heaven. Praise God. Walked the earth. Praise God. Redeeming mankind back to him. Praise God. You and I. 
hallelujah, was lost in a world of sin. But because of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are saved today. Praise God. We are saved, hallelujah, because Jesus came into the world that we can be saved, hallelujah, by the power of the Holy Spirit. That he said, I am come, St. John 10 and 10, that you might have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Praise God. All sheep and oxen, yea, the beasts of the fields and the fowls of the air, the fish, praise God, of the sea and whatsoever passes through the path of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Psalms 8, 3 through 9. Hallelujah. How excellent is thy name in all the earth. Hallelujah. That is enough that we can worship him. We can glorify his name. We can lift him up because he is the Lord, Savior, and King. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Our body was uniquely designed as vessels to worship him. Our hands should go up, praise God, when we worship him. We can stomp our feet, praise God. We can leap for joy, praise God. Hallelujah. From the simple sinners, I would love to have, hallelujah, that we were now, hallelujah, just a simple sinners. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually to be in his, in our mouth. Our praises, praise God, should go up to God because he is worthy to be praised. Praise God. In what ways do we worship God every day. How can we worship him every day? We can worship him by reading his word. The word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. What is a way that we can worship God every day? We can lift up our hands and bless his name and tell him how wonderful he is, what a mighty God he is, that we love him, we appreciate him. How can we worship God every day? We can worship him by the life that we live, letting a dying world know that there is a difference between clean and unclean. Praise God. We can let a dying world know that he came into our lives to save us. Praise God. From a world of sin that we don't have to be entangled again in the yoke of bondage. That we can be set free, praise God. We can worship him, praise God, by the life that we live. Not only in the midst of those that are around us. But when people don't see us. The eyes of the Lord is in every place. Beholding the good and the evil. Some people only have a form of godliness. Denying the power thereof. I know they go to church every day. Uh, they go to church often. And they say they have the Lord. But their life does not depict that they have God in their life. When the Lord God is in our life. There is a difference. Praise God. I didn't say strange. There's not a strange, there's a difference between clean and unclean. And God is a God, praise God, that makes us a peculiar people. A holy nation, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, that we should show forth the praise unto him who brought us out of darkness into this marvelous light. When you say, some perhaps may say, well, yeah, I've never done anything wrong. I didn't dance on the dance floor. I never smoked weed. I never drank. Uh, but we was born in sin, shaping in iniquity. Hallelujah. Living in a world of sin, having no hope within. But Jesus, the master, he is the one that came. That we might be able, praise God, to be saved. I think about David. 
When David sinned, David said, have mercy on me, O God. According to thy loving kindness, according to thy multitudes of tender mercy, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly, that I might be whiter than snow. Hallelujah. Every day we are to find ourselves in worship. How do we worship? And that is we try to get closer to God, closer to the word of God, doing the things that are pleasing unto him, loving him with all of our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength. And not only that, but doing likewise, that we will love our neighbors as ourselves, praise God. That we would think about others and love them. Help somebody along the way. Help somebody that's fallen by the wayside. Help somebody that may have found themselves in a backslidden or falling away situation. The love of God will call that person to get up, praise God, and tell them that Jesus loved you, praise God. Hallelujah. If you have to reach way down. Jesus will pick you up, praise God. That's enough to worship him, to knowing that we can't stoop so low that he can't pick us up, praise God. Hallelujah. I think about the one that it says, who is the one that is really grateful? The one that had the most sin. It was talking about Mary Magdalene, how she washed our Savior feet with her hair a form of worship, bowing down. I know we are in a society where pride, hallelujah, seems to be taking preeminence, but it's time to worship. It's time to bless the Lord at all times and let the praises of God be in our mouth, praise God. The woman that washed his feet with her hair and uh, that dried his feet with her hair, she washed them with her tears, praise God, a form of worship. It's time to know, it's time to bow, praise God, down before him and worship him because none of our goodness, none of our education, None of that can save us, not because we have money in the bank, not because you drive the finest of cars and live in a nice place, praise God. Oh, but because he came that we may have life and that more abundantly. Oh, because he came that you and I might have the right to the tree of life. It's time to worship. It's time to bless the Lord. People of God. We got so much to praise him for, so much to thank him for. Hallelujah. We can just think on his goodness and begin to worship. I want you to know that Pastor Durham and I at Better Way Apostolic Church, along with the congregation, we love you. We're praying for you. We're believing God that he will continue to bless you and work out every situation. Just remember, as you worship, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You magnify our Lord and Savior and King. Remember, our service is at 11 a.m. If you would like to join us, praise God, at 1011 South Bowen Road. We would love to have you in our morning worship. God bless you, and we thank you for tuning in. Until next time, may the Lord be with you. In Jesus' name.